In this video, we'll discuss how to install PowerShell module for Dataverse. After that, we'll uh, discuss about how to connect the Dataverse um, from the PowerShell. And then we'll read data from one of the Dataverse table using PowerShell command lines. So for that, I opened this Windows PowerShell ISC. Here, I'm trying to install the Dataverse module. So for that, I'm typing install hyphen module here. I'm typing this uh, module name here, which is Microsoft dot XRM Microsoft dot XRM dot data dot PowerShell. So I opened this Windows PowerShell as a user. So we have to use this scope with the current user. When we press this run, it will download and install this Microsoft.xrm.data.powershell. And it is asking for the confirmation, yes to all. The installation of the package is completed. Now, we'll try to connect to the Dataverse connection. So for that, I'm just creating a variable for further usage which is a CRM connection. Here I'm trying to use get CRM connection. We can see this one and when we select and here I'm trying to connect this with interactive mode, which is interactive mode. So when we run this one, it will show or it will pop up on a window which is showing this on premise if you want to connect the on premise crm you can or if you want to connect to the cloud which is office 365 here we have sign in as a current user if your you know domain is already connected with the uh, cloud ad uh, which is at azure active directory you can use this one or here we have an option display list of available organizations and here we have this show advanced in the advanced, the first one is online region. If you know about the region, you can directly select. If you don't know about the region also, you no need to worry. You just select don't know. And then here you can pass the username and you can pass the password here. So if it is already, uh, if it is like MFA enabled also, it will work here. I am typing my account here. click login and it is trying to retrieve the environment environments from the Microsoft Power Platform and it is trying to discover will take some time and sometimes what happens it will not directly get the information it will open a, another uh, browser window to enter the credentials and they, from there we can able to enter the username and password and if it is MFA enabled it will also send an a, message to your device and you can able to approve from there this will take some time to retrieve the environments and also uh, if it is not an if it is not able to get the environments it it shows another window to enter the credentials and that time it will show what are the environments which are available in the microsoft power platform so currently it is trying to get the environments from the tenant
Now this window is open and it is asking to enter the password. Once this MFA is approved, it will show the it will show the environments which are available in this Power Platform. So now I am selecting this default one and click login. It will connect to that particular environment. So now it is connected. So once it is connected and we can able to uh, get the data from the database table which is already created. Now I'll go to I'll open this um, database table and the table name is information. So this is actually the display name. If you want to get uh, the logical name uh, to be used, uh, so which you can get from here, and this is that. So we'll go back to uh, we'll go back to this PowerShell here, and this is already connected. So I'll comment this one. Now I'll try to read the data from this particular table. So for that, what I'm trying to do is I'm declaring a variable and giving a name as all records. And uh, to get all the records, we have a command right called get hyphen. So if you if you type this CRM, you can see some intelligence you'll get get record and get records if you want to get single record you can able to use that get record but if you want to get all the records you have to use this and there is a property called connection and which we already established with that uh, which is crm connection which is already we done and from which table you want to get which is an entity logic logical name and um, I'll take the logical name from here. I'll copy this one and then we'll try to paste here. So this is the table logical name and then press enter. Now I want to display all the records. So um, I'll use this variable which I created, which is all records dot. I'm trying to type this CRM when we use this dart sometimes it, it basically passes the intel sense sometimes the intel sense will not come so i'm trying to type this records okay we'll try to execute this one we'll we'll see if it get any errors we'll try to resolve those now we we got all the records here so now it contains total two records and um, i'll show you the two records here the two records which i created here so one is dynamics 365 uh, another one is dataverse you can come back here and you can see um, two records will have here and um, so one a written property id you can able to see here so here this is one record and this is one this one is the second record so we can able to see uh, the logical name uh, of the list which is cr404 uh, underscore information and which contains two and it, it it contains a different type of things here uh, this is one id if you want to check and you can able to check this id in the upcoming videos we'll see how to get uh, you know individual properties like a display name but uh, we'll check this uh, information id like the grid is correct or not from that so i'll go here and um, i'll try to select this one save now here you can able to see which starts with 18 and it ends with 92 and which starts with 79 and it ends with 92. So we'll discuss how this uh, grid uh, generates in the dataverse tables that we'll discuss in a different video. Now here, so this starts with 79 and it ends with 92 and the second one, another one is starts with 18 and ends with 92. So we got two records uh, which is created here. So if you have more records also will uh, uh, returns here, but this returns in a different format. Now uh, in the original, you can able to see all these like uh, uh, the property, 
the property value and uh, you can able to see that and the entity type you can able to see and there is a couple of information which is not exactly readable here but we got two records and we got the exact quit from the data was table so this way we we can able to perform a lot of operations from this powershell so to work with this we have to install this module microsoft.xrm.data.powershell so once you install this one you can able to work um, you can able to work with the dataverse tables in the PowerShell. We'll discuss more about more operations using PowerShell.